Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here, welcome back to Gents Sense. Hope that you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys 10 different fragrances that I would recommend to my friends. So you. And in the near future, I'm also gonna be doing another video, 10 different fragrances that I would recommend to my enemies. That'll be a different type of video, I think. Today though, it's all positivity and happiness and friendliness. These are the fragrances that I would recommend if a friend came up to me and said, hey man, I need a fragrance for X, Y, Z. Whether that's just something that gets compliments and is very versatile or a fresh fragrance, a cheap fragrance, a warm fragrance, whatever. I'll have each of the scents that I talk about today linked down in the description below. And let's kick things off with the cheapie that I got in not that long ago that is surprisingly very good. And actually multiple of you out there emailed me about this one and let me know about it. So shout out to you, you know who you are. It is this from Dumont Paris Nitro Red or Nitro Pour Homme Red. I did a haul video. I got in a few different fragrances from this house and this was one of them. And in the haul video, the first impressions, I initially thought it was good, but maybe not right up my alley because of the style of fragrance that it is. And then after I was done shooting the video, I had to come back and do an update like two days later to put something else into the video, letting everyone know, hey, just an FYI, this stuff grows on you quick. So this is an Invictus style fragrance, but with a twist. It's got Baccarat Rouge 540 woven throughout. So yes, it has that sweetness like you would expect from an Invictus. It also has this thing that flops all over the place when you're grabbing the bottle and moving it around. That's cool. But yeah, it's got that Invictus-y sweetness when you first spray this one on. The quality is really high for the price point. Yes, it's gonna come across a little synthetic-y sweet, but it smells extremely pleasant. And then you get that Baccarat Rouge 540 that starts to creep out more and more as the fragrance dries down. It's a very compliment pulling type of fragrance with great versatility, good performance as well, and does not cost much at all. And apparently this thing is taken off in a big way because I was searching around on the internet for other clone fragrances to buy. And there are other clone houses right now that are cloning this one. I think you can comfortably say you're onto something if you're a clone fragrance and your clone fragrance is so good, it is now being cloned by other clone houses. <laughs> That's like cloneception at that point, you know? So it's a cheapy clone, and now other clone houses are gonna clone the cheapy clone. Are they gonna clone it and make it cheaper than the cheapy clone already is? What is going on? But yes, uh, Dumont Nitro Red, if you're looking for something that is a bit of an Invictus twist, Again, a BR540 Invictus Twist with good performance for a cheap price that gets a lot of attention. This would be one to know about. And I would absolutely key my friends in on that one because it's one that really most people are not gonna know about unless they know fragrances. Before we jump to the next fragrance, here are some codes. The Perfume Box is the newest one. Gent Sense will get you 10% off on the website. TS11 will get you 11% off at Practflex.com, which is a big discounter. Then of course, Max Aroma and Twisted Lily have those niche fragrances. Gents 10 will get you 10% off. Try Gents 20 at Max Aroma also for 20% off. And then there are other codes as well. Triple Traders actually, quick shout out to them. 10% off Gent Sense. They've got a lot of clones since we just talked about one. After that, Explorer. And this is one that I've actually turned multiple people onto. Like in real life, like actual friends, like in person stuff, not online. Why explore? Well, it's cheap, that don't hurt. When you point to a fragrance and say, hey man, you can get this one online and it's gonna cost you 40 bucks. They're gonna be like, really? I know, I know, you and me, we know about discounters, right? I know, but dude, like zero of my friends <laughs> really seem to know about it. You gotta key them in every time. I went to Belk and it was this much money. That's expensive. So yes, Explorer, very inexpensive. People like that. Then great versatility. Year round, daytime, nighttime, does not matter. Of course, it is similar to Aventus, but people like Aventus and Aventus is very expensive. So that makes this even better. Hey man, it's really cheap and you can use it all year, and it gets a lot of compliments, and it smells like something that's 10 times more expensive. You just sold it. <laughs> They're gonna go, oh, 
thank you. Now like half my friend group is walking around smelling like Explorer, but hey, whatever. Nice, fresh, modern, woodsy, and spicy with a decent amount of sweetness from fruit off the top. Explorer, an easy going fragrance that just about everybody likes. After that, myself from Yves Saint Laurent. Now I know that there are gonna be people out there that go, oh, not myself, oh, you peasant. Oh, your taste is horrid, disgusting. I know, I've, I've heard it, I know. Here is the deal with myself. People freaking love the way it smells. I am not exaggerating when I tell you that myself, from when it was released to now, is probably the fragrance that gets the most attention. There is something in here that just makes people lose it, okay? I, I don't know. It's like secret MSG sprinkled in here and you just gotta have it. The note breakdown is simple. Bergamot, orange blossom, ambrofix, patchouli. It's extremely clean, it's easy to wear, it's smooth, and it's actually even slightly elegant. It's a very modern fragrance. Some people would say it's completely unisex. I think it leans a little masculine. And just as far as versatility and compliment factor goes, it is close to the top right now. So if somebody came to me and they said, look, man, I just want something clean, something fresh that I can wear every day that people are going to really like, that's going to get me positive attention, I would say, here you go. Let's go cheap again, Loam Rocus. This one is obviously a, a blue fragrance from Discounters. I think it's usually around $30, might even be less. I don't check up on the price of this one every day, but it's pretty affordable. And it is, uh, you know, vaguely similar to something like K from Dolce & Gabbana, but I think actually that Lone Rocus is better than K Eau de Toilette. So that's pretty nice. Not too many people know about it. And uh, it's another easy going one. It's a daily wear type of fragrance. You know, it's a little like Explorer over here. Not hard to wrap your head around, not expensive, but it will get you positive attention and you can wear it everywhere. It's got blood orange, cardamom, pineapple, juniper, and tonka as some of the notes in the scent. And I think that for the price point, it's just a great bang for your buck. I will say that uh, Missoni Parfum and Missoni Wave would also be great choices. They're not officially in this list, but I wanna shout those out really quickly as well. Both of those would be great also. It's just, I feature Miss Honey Wave with some regularity, so I wanted to work this guy in instead. After that, Stronger With You. This is the original Stronger With You. This is going to be the easiest one to find. Also, the cheapest as far as the uh, cool weather Stronger With You fragrances go. I'll tell you what the craziest thing about this is, it came out in 2017. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it was that long ago, but... Uh... <laughs> Where's time going? <laughs> uh, so that's, that's something. Anyway, this is the most affordable of the cool weather Stronger With You fragrances. Most people would probably point you towards Stronger With You Absolutely, my personal favorite, or Stronger With You Leather, Stronger With You Intensely. Those ones though are more difficult to find and they are more expensive. So what that means is if you have somebody who's coming up to you asking for advice and maybe they aren't quite sure about a lot of things when it comes to fragrances, I just feel like it's probably safer to point them toward this one first. It's still gonna get you a big compliment pulling fragrance that is perfect for fall and winter time with very good performance. It has, of course, the Stronger With You DNA in there because it's the one that made the Stronger With You DNA. It's got that chestnut, the vanilla, also sage and lavender in there as well. It's a very sexy scent, a little gourmandy also. And if they very much enjoy this one, then they could move on to some of the other flankers. But Stronger With You would be one of the first fragrances that I point someone toward for a fall and winter time scent. It's very sexy and comforting at the same time. Quick shameless self-promotion. I have another channel, Extra Gent Scents. So if you want more fragrance content, check that one out. Just type in YouTube, Extra Gent Scents. It'll pull it right up. I cover more fragrances there, do different reviews, different lists, other stuff that I don't talk about on this channel, I may talk about there. So if you want even more fragrance stuff, check that out. Now I'm gonna go with the clone again, John Gustave amaze. The first time I saw this bottle, I legitimately cracked up just because, yeah, that is a spot on dupe of Le Beau, only 
with nothing covering his piece and also uh, with, with a cap on it. I don't know, it looks kind of weird when you get used to the normal LeBeau and Lamal style bottles, but yeah. Just absolutely brazen <laughs> with this going on here. But John Gustav Amaze, or excuse me, John Gustav Ohm Amaze is a very nice alternative to LeBeau. Sort of plays almost in the middle ground between LeBeau and LeBeau Le Parfum. Uh, but still, that is clearly what this is trying to be. You get that sweetness, that coconut off the top. And this would be one of those situations where if somebody is looking for a, a very inexpensive fragrance, you would point them toward this. That is assuming that they're looking for something uh, that is a bit unique compared to other designer fragrances out there, other men's fragrances out there. Uh, of course, the, the coconut being the selling point. If they wanted to spend the money, I would say, look, dude, just get Le Beau, okay? Or Le Beau Le Parfum. But if you wanna save the money and get something quite close at a much lower price point, here you go. I think it's uh, actually really well done. I got this as part of a haul. I bought them from Fragrance Buy, it was this one. And then Harmony Code Absolute, which is a really good alternative to Code Absolute. And then Invicto Victorious Elixir, which is a clone of uh, Invictus Victory Elixir, which is, is, is actually in this list. The Invicto is right there, it's, it's looking at me. I have to do it because it's just kind of funny. Yeah, they did not uh, quite <laughs> get this, this bottle the same, did they? This one has a small bottom, gets bigger at the top. This one has a big bottom and gets smaller at the top. They reversed it. What if I... That looks a lot closer. Nice. But yeah, Invicto Victorious Elixir is a clone of uh, this bad boy right here. It's a pretty good one too. But Invictus Victory Elixir, this stuff is fantastic. I love it. The vanilla in here is to die for. Massive compliment puller. Has a fantastic sparkle when you spray this one on. It's very deep and rich at the same time. Decently bold as well. It smells uh, a little bit like um, Invictus Victory mixed with Le Beau, maybe even bits and pieces of other fragrances in there as well. Pure Excess, for example. Invictus Victory Elixir is amazing. I absolutely love this stuff. This and Invictus Victory converted me into being an Invictus fan. I hate the original Invictus, but this stuff, yeah, it converted me. Absolutely amazing. Since we're talking fragrances released last year, another one uh, right here. Valentino Uomo, Born in Roma, Intense. Same deal, same deal. The original Born in Roma, I'm not really, not really keen on. Now, I would recommend it to people. If you're a younger guy looking for a compliment floor that's very versatile with decent sweetness and minerality, yeah, original Born in Roma, that would be a good choice. Just as far as what I wanna wear, nah. No breakdown here is goofy. Three note breakdown, vanilla, lavender, vetiver, I've complained about three note, note breakdowns in the past, but you know what? If the fragrance comes out and it smells as good as this smells, give me zero notes. You know, I don't care at that point, as long as it smells fantastic and this does. In the air, Born in Roma Intense is top notch. I mean, so is Victory Elixir, but Born in Roma Intense, man, this stuff is just fantastic. It's so, 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 so good. I would say better for spring, fall, and winter, daytime or nighttime use during summer. Might be a little bit too heavy, a little bit too sweet. Uh, you could stretch it though. You could wear it in summer, just don't spray as much. Good performance with this one. Uh, just, I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna get better. Honestly, it is it is the pinnacle of the Born in Roma line for me. It's one of those things that that will announce your presence. It will get attention. It just smells Great. After that, Hero Eau de Parfum from Burberry. It's another more uh, modern release, more recent release. Has a decent amount of woodiness in there. That's the, the Hero calling card so far, cedar, a good amount of cedar. But this one has also more of a resinous sweetness and warmth to it. A little more complex than the Eau de Toilette, a little more interesting than the Eau de Toilette. It has a nice classiness to it, but then it can also be worn basically any time. So you can wear it to the office, don't go heavy, but you can wear it to the office, wear it on a date, you can wear it formally, you could wear that casually. More of a cool weather fragrance, daytime or nighttime. Bottle, very simplistic looking, but Burberry Hero is low key, really, really, really good. And also, look at this. Can you see it? 
Oh, ho, ho. magnet. I have ordered the new Hero Parfum. It's not here yet, but I've ordered it. If it continues the trend and is better than the Eau de Parfum, then that would probably make it one of the better releases of the year this year. Obviously, I don't have it yet, so jury is still out, but Hero Eau de Parfum, solid. And last, but definitely not least, Reserve Privé. Reserve Privé, if somebody came to me for some reason and they were wanting an iris fragrance right now, I would point them here. The reason I say for some reason, it's not because I dislike iris. I love iris, obviously. I just don't imagine too many people who don't know a ton about fragrances would be like, so dog, I'm just thinking about iris. Like I really want an iris fragrance. But if they wanted something that was a little different than usual, that was very sexy, sweet, warm, but also decently classy, I would point them there. I would absolutely uh, have them test it first because iris can be one of those notes that can be a little love it or hate it, but I would have them check that out. God, so good. Yeah, it's fantastic. So that has a booziness to it, a little extra sweetness that really helps elevate the iris in there. And I say this about every time I bring up gentlemen, but I like to say it, the whole line is good for the most part. Eau de Toilette Intense, awesome. Boise, awesome. That one, awesome. Eau de Parfum, awesome. You also have in here chestnut, some woody notes, and a little touch of citrus off the top. Reserve Privé is possibly the best in the whole gentleman line. It is absolutely worth knowing about, and it is killer for fall and winter. So there we go. These I would recommend to my friends. Whether they're looking for something inexpensive, something just for compliments, or something classy, sexy, warm, pretty much all covered. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there, and the enemies video will be coming soon. I'm feeling yoke. I'm feeling yoke. Yeah.